I'm going to read uh, The Prince and the Pauper, written by Mark Twain. Um, this, uh, I will read uh, um, four pages, about four pages. Um, uh, so, and uh, here's Tom's uh, first royal dinner. Um, there are three, around three chapters in four pages. Tom first lawyer dinner. Somewhat after one in the afternoon, Tom resigned. On the one, the order of being dressed for dinner, he found himself as fine as a color did as of before. But everything different, everything changed. From his rough to his stockings, he was presently conducted with this much state to a spacious and only tougher month, where the table was already set for one. The furniture was all of mass gold and beautified with designs to which was now I made it priceless. Since um, they were the work of the Ben Ben to neuter, the room was half filled with noble servitors, um, shufflings and said grace and Tom was about to fall too, for hunger had long been a uh, constitution with him. But was interrupted by the more my lord and the earl of the Berkeley, who uh, fastened a napkin about his neck. For the great host of the affairs, um, to the prince of the Wales was a hero military and in this uh, nobleman's family, Tom's uh, cupbearer was present and the whole store all this attempt to help himself to wine. The tester to his highness, the prince of the Wales, was their source taste and its auspicious dish upon requirement and on the risk of the being poisoned, he was only an ornamental appendage at this time and was seldom called upon exercise his function. But there had been times, not many generations past, when the office of testers had its favorite and was not grandiose to be desired. Why they did not use a dog or a plumber? Seems strange. And all the ways of the royalties are strange, my lord. Actually, first grooms of the chambers was are there. This is a good news. No doubt, no worse but theirs than he was led at the office. My lord, the chief butler that was there and stood behind. I'm sure the other things, the solemnities under command of the lord of the greatest fortune, and the lord had a cook who stood near. Tom had 384 servants beside this, but they were not all in the rooms, of course. No, the quarter of them, neither was Tom or else yet that they existed. Um, all those that were present had been well agreed within the hour to remember uh, that the prince was a temporary out of his head, and to be careful to show no surprise at this uh, beggary, these beggaries, and what uh, soon uh, on exhibitions before them, but they only moved their condition and their uh, throats, uh, not their mirth. It was a heavy affliction to them to see the beloved prince so straightened, for Tom ate with his the fingers made neat, but no one smiled at it, or even seemed to observe it. He inspected his snapping to restrain with deep interest, for it was uh, of the very dainty and beautiful fabric then set with the simplicity. Pretty, take it away. Less in minds on he the foolish is to be sold. The editor the prefer fur took it away with irreverent manners, and without word or protest of any sort. Some of them, the Chani, ladies would be interested and asked what they were, and if they were to be eaten, but it was only recently that men had begun to lay them these things in England in place of importing them as luxuries from Holland. The discussion was answered with this grave respect, and no surprise manifested its when he had finished his uh, um, dessert. It filled with his pocket with his nuts, and but nobody felt to be a road. And deserved by it, but the next moment he was himself deserved by it, and showed his composure that for this was the only service he had been omitted with his own hands during the meal, that he did not doubt, and then he had done a most improper and and um, princeless things at the moment the uh, mistress of his nose and began to twitch the end of that organ.
to lift and a wrinkle discontinued. And Tom began to evince a growing distress. He looked appealing first at one and then other of the road about him. Uh, tears came into his eyes. They sprang forward with his dismay in their face and begged to know his trouble. I'm sad with Jenny. I wish I could have yours indulgence. Uh, my nose is sad. Coralist, what is the custom? And used in this uh, emergence, the freely spirit for this, but a little time that I can bear it. Nice smile, but all were so perplexed. Look one to the other, and indeed to the tribulation for counsel. But uh, behold, here was a dead war. Nothing English history to tell how to get over it. And the master of the ceremonies was not present. There was no one but per se uh, to venture upon this uncharted sea or risk the attempt to solve this some problem. Tell us, there was no hereditary scratchers. In the meantime, the tears had to flow their banks and began to trick down Tom's tricks. His twitching out was just pleading more urgently than ever for his relief. At last, the nature broke down. The very waste of the etiquette. Tom looked up to, you know, this player out of a pardon it, he was doing wrong and brought to leave to button the heart of his cord by scratching his nose himself. He is mute. Being ended, uh, how low it came, and um, how uh, before the him a broad swallow of the golden dish uh, with a fragrant uh, lot of water in it to cleanse his mouth and fingering to his and mallow and uh, irritated that first stood by it with a laughing for his use. Tom gazed at the dishes of puzzled moments or two, uh, then raised it to his lips and gravely to her throat. And then he returned to the waiting lord and said, Nay, relax me not, my lord, it hath a pretty fiber, but it will have wavelength strength. This new eccentricity of the prince the Louis in mind, it made all hearts about him ache, but the sad sight moved on to merriment. Time's next unconscious blunders towards to get up and to leave the table just when the chaplain had taken his hand. Pianist chairs then, with the unlifted hands, Close the lifted eyes was in the act of the beginning of the blasting stairs. Nobody seemed to perceive the prince had done a thing unusual. By his own request, a small friend was now conducted to his private cabinet and left his there alone to his own device. Hanging upon hooks in the oakens, the wings coding, and then wore the separate fist of a suit of a shivering shining to armors covered all over with this beautiful design, exquisitely in any gold, and um, this much as the final plea belonged to the true and princess to listen to presents from the Madame de Fort the Queen. Then put on the grief and the gun for it, and the plum helmet, and such as the other fishes as she could don without the assistance for a while, or the mind is to go for help and then complete the matter. But uh, besought him of the nuts and he had to brought away from dinner. The joy would be to eat them or in the crowd of twice to him. And the grand just to hear the tourist then pass to him to his on desired services. So he restored uh, pretty things to their several places. Some of cracking nuts the feeling almost natural is to have for the first time since the god boy since then had made a steam of prince. When that's all were all done, he stumbled off on some and invited his book in a closed um, and there was one about the etiquette of the English court, and this was a fly that he lay down upon some street to find. Proceeded to inspect himself with honest jewels that largely lived in him, so therefore present. Okay, question of the series. I'll read just one more chapter. The question of the sea. About five o'clock, so how many eighth o'clock? I wrote down, refreshing at the end, muttered himself to the traveler's dreams and traveler's dreams of mine, and is now at hand. So say these warnings, then, to my failing to force to confirm it. Presently, the wicked is a light frame up in his eye, and he muttered yet to be not. I died till he go before. His attendant, pursuing that he was awake, one of them asked the surprised concern, the Lord as the uh, Chancellor who was uh, waiting without, admit uh, him and other him, exclaimed exceedingly. 
And the Lord Chancellor entered and knelt before the king's coach, saying, I have given a word, and according to the king's command, the peers of lambs in their robes do not and stand at the bar of the house to where the heaven confirmed the Duke of Norfolk done. They humbly wait his majesty to put as the pleasures in the matters the king's face the lit up with a fierce joy that is to lift me up in mine own person. So will I go before in my firmament and to reduce my own and where I see the warren and uh, lose me up. As a voice of faith, um, an assurance the power was swept and flushes from his cheeks, and the attendant eased him back upon his blows, and the hurry assisted him with the little types. Presently, he said sorrowfully, O Lord, how have I longed for these sweet hours, and all too late it comes, and I am robbed of this, so covetous chance to put be yes, and then let others do this to help our office state they deny to me so often my great seal in commission, choose the law that shall compose it, and get her to your work and spirit and man, and before the sun shall rise and set again. Uh, bring me had it, I may see it, according to the king's command. So shall it be, was well, to please the your majesty's daughter, that the seals be now restored to me, so that I may force upon the business of the seal, who keeps the seal, but though Prince your majesty, you will take it from me two days since the signing should no more do it's the office till your own lawyers and had a shoot and use it upon Duke of Norfolk's warrant. Why, so in truth I did, I do remember what did I with it. I'm very feeble so often these days both my memories play the traitors with me. This strange strange. The king dropped into uh, an articulate smuggling, shaking his off grace head it weakly from time to time, and groping, trying to correct what he had done with the seal. At last my lord hath pulled to venture to kneel and offer information. Sir, if that I am maybe so bold, here to be several that do remember with me is the how that you gave the great seal over into the hands of his highness the prince of way to keep against the day net. True, most true, interrupted the king. Fetch it, go, time to yes. Lord Hartford flew to town, and returned to the king, before very long troubled the empty handed as he delivered himself to his back. It grieves me, my lord the king, to bear so heavy and unwelcome tidings, but it's the will of the god. The prince's affliction of this seal, and he cannot recall to mind that he received the seal. So came back quickly to the floor, thinking it were. A waste of the precious time, the little was the withdrawal. Then I should start him to search the lungs of waste for chambers and saloons to belong unto his lawyer high. The gun from the king interrupted the Lord at this point. After a little while, he made a sad with a deep sadness in his tones, troubling him no more, poor child, the hand of the God used to have it him. And my heart goes out in loving compassion for him, and sorrow. I may not bear his burden on my old twelve weighted soldiers, and so bring him peace. He closed his eyes, fell to mumbling, then the prison priest was silent. After times, he opened his eyes again, and gazed back unto the surround him, until the his friends and um, rest upon the kneeling to Lord Chancellor the instantly suffused, flushed with the last. But, though really yet, by the glory of God, and though the greatest not about the traitor's business, um, this the mistress shall have all there is tomorrow, um, but for lack of hell, this is too great to welcome, and trembling to transfer it to Windsor. Ah, good, your majesty, I cry, you mesh. I both waited for the seal, man, has lost the wits, the small seal, which I for times I was wont to take him, missed about the list in my treasures, and since the great seal has, ah, uh, from a waste, shall not hit surface. I lost this wit, be gone, and as part, he come, no more tear, though we bring his heads. The fool uh, tantalized was not long uh, in removing stems of the from this dangerous propensity, neither the commission waste time in uh, giving the lawyer assent to the work of the Slavs Parliament, appointing to more lots of further heading, beheading of the famous the fear of England, the Duke of Norfolk. Okay, I finished the leading two chapters.